Welcome to the lockdown garden. I am the star man. Well, I say lockdown. In fact, the government has just yesterday um, relaxed the uh, lockdown procedures. So actually, we are now allowed to actually go out kind of freely now, although we do have to observe the, uh, the two meter rule. But pretty much we are free to go out even for non-essential on a non-essential trip so that's not too bad but saying that i'm not going to be um going out and photographing the stars at some far-flung place i'll be staying fairly close to home in fact i'll probably still shoot some videos from this garden for the time being but anyway what this video is all about a very very brief video is i want to talk to you about a a comet that's up in our skies at the moment or just coming into our skies in the northern hemisphere and that comet is called comet swan now um, we're hoping that it hasn't um, reached perihelion yet which means it hasn't got as close to the sun yet but it has passed its closest to the earth now the thing is is that this comet is only visible in the dawn twilight so it's a case of trying to see the comet before the sun rises too high and the brightness drowns out the comet. Now we are hoping that this comet will still brighten yet as it gets closer to the sun. The only problem then is it might fragment and break up like previous comets have. Now I'm just going to show you on the screen now some pictures of comets which I have photographed in the past during twilight. And the first one here is quite a nice picture actually. Um, it's one I took from Blackpool looking out towards the Irish Sea and you can see the, um, the nice crescent moon there and if you look down, if we pan down there, you can see there's very definitely a, uh, a comet going on in the sky there closer towards the sun, you know, it's, it's more into the, the twilight there as you can see but, um, and I think it was just about visible with the naked eye certainly with binoculars um, you could have seen uh, comet pan stars. That was a very very nice comet. Uh, I took quite a few pictures of that. Um, another comet that I took a picture of, which you can hopefully see on the screen now, is Comet Ison. Um, again another comet which kind of promised to brighten quite nicely to become naked eye visibility but it didn't quite manage that and as it went close to the sun it disintegrated. But I managed to get a few shots of that and you can see Comet Ison there in a, in the dawn twilight i think i took that at four o'clock in the morning from a motorway bridge near blackpool so that just goes to show you that you don't need to be anywhere really dark and and to have a chance of seeing a comet which is how often do you, do you get to see a comet really i mean i've seen quite a few comets since i got into astronomy 10 years ago but before that i didn't see anything i never saw how this comet i never saw any of these spectacular comets like hale bop and all that sort of thing so any comet that comes along that you've got a chance to see it's really worth making an effort to go out and see if you can see it now you might need binoculars in fact i would say take some low power binoculars with you something like um seven times 50 or something like that and they will really help you to see the comet now i'm just going to put a map on the screen now to show you where i think the comet will be it's going to be fairly low down in the northeastern sky and the time that you're going to have to look is probably about three to half three in the morning. Um, when I say low down, we're going to be lower than 10 degrees. We're in the constellation of Triangulum at the moment. It's going to move from Triangulum. It's going to move into another constellation as we go on, as we head towards the end of the month, possibly into the start of June, you know, could still be, you know, it could brighten up further and we could, it, you know it could be a really really good sight but anyway um that's my little video on comets one um i hope that um you get chance to have a look at it have a look for it i, I know i'm going to try to have a look for it i'm probably going to stay up i think uh, rather than you know try to get up at three o'clock i think it'd be easier to just drink and drink a few cups of coffee or something like that you know so so there you go that's comets one um, the next video I'm going to do is going to be talking about another spectacular thing that you can see during the summer months and those are noctilucent clouds. So I'm going to be talking about noctilucent clouds in the next video. Absolutely spectacular cloud formations of ice 
high up in the atmosphere that you can see this time of year um, if they show up because they're very unpredictable so look out for that video and thanks for watching this one if you like what i do click the subscribe button and also click the little bell at the top as well so you get notified of when i put a new video out so that's it look out for comments one and i'll see you on the next video